Uh, my name is Rob Coker. I farm in Yazoo County. We grow soybeans, corn, wheat. We irrigate about 50% of our, our crops and we're increasing that as we can put in new irrigation. One overriding principle on, the, on our farm is that we, we try to increase our efficiency, whether it's in our equipment, our labor, how we use our chemicals, our seed, to use uh, the biggest impact we can. Well, you know, if we need to plant more seed to get more yield, we will. If we need to thin it down, we want to do that. We're using GPS and precision planting, precision spraying, precision fertilizer to put the right input in the right place at the right time. I heard about uh, Fawcett probably four or five years ago at a conservation conference in Louisiana. And I, I got a copy of it, we played with it, and we've played with it several years and, and haven't been real comfortable with it. And then this past year, getting gotten to know Jason Kreutz and talking to him, and then he was able to help us run the program accurately, understood it a little better, and we're, we're using it on every acre this year of, of our fur irrigation. As we got to know Jason and talking with Jason, he asked if he could run some fit riser fields on our farm. Mm -hmm. And so we said, yes, please, we want to see what you're doing differently than what we, our normal practice is. And one particular cornfield that he's, he's running the well on, mm -hmm. we're, we've irrigated four times, he's irrigated twice. And so we're very interested to see, is he gonna get the same yield as we do, irrigating about half as many times. At the end of the year, it's probably gonna probably be more of a third less instead of half. It'll be very interesting how that works. And that, that'll determine how we manage our, our wells in the future. As we're trying to be efficient in our irrigation, we need to know how much water are we putting, pumping? How long are we pumping? So we're, we're doubling our efforts to record keeping to know how much water does it take to irrigate this 50 acre field. Because if, if we just turn it on until it gets to the end, we don't know how much water we're using. We're not making a, a decision based on facts. We're just doing it on feeling and on site. What we've noticed that is farm wide, we, we've got a lower number of hours where we're having our wells run. We, we believe we're getting more water in the soil profile by doing it. We're getting a uniform distribution of water of the faucet there there's several ways to get your field set up that way it makes it <clears throat> our crew that are punching holes and setting up the fields they love it they know how to do it it's easy to to follow and then we get a more uniform distribution of water over the field it's saving time and it's saving money <clears throat> it's really not that hard it's just a learning curve what we hope to accomplish is to be more efficient in our irrigation, to save money for our operation, to yield higher yielding crops, to use less water, to be good conservationists on our land. We, we, <clears throat> I have two sons that I hope will come back and farm. And you know, one day I'd like to see my grandsons come back to farm. Sure. And so it's been in my family for two generations. I'd like to see it continue and we want to, to see improvement here. And then, you know, it's these surge valves, and we're still learning about them, but we're real excited about them. They cost a little extra money. They're a little, another step. Start out with faucet and do that.